Welcome to another update at Muddy River Distillery in the Mount Holly Cotton Mill. Big week this week. One of my favorite things that happened is we backfilled this retaining wall. So building it was one thing, but then putting dirt behind it so you could go out that hole right there, which will be a double door eventually, and actually like enter the building from both sides now. That's pretty cool. So backfilling the retaining wall happened this week. Uh, we finished cutting in the rough openings for our doors. We had uh, GNS Welding build us uh, lintels. We used the old I-beams that were holding up the first floor and we welded steel plates to the bottom of them, or GNS Welding did. Uh, they're locally out of Mount Holly, do excellent work. And then we picked them up with a bobcat and stuck them in this little hole here. So we got one on this side and we did this lintel. This lintel is 15 feet long, two I-beams, five 16th inch steel plate. And then we had to very carefully pick it up and stick it in the holes. And uh, there's a little clip so you can watch us doing that. Pretty crazy. Quite possibly the biggest, biggest single moment of this building's life happened this week. The guys and I, we lifted the building. We officially did it. So here's some clips of us lifting that building. It was scary. There was a lot of creaking and cracking. It translated the, the lift all the way from this gravel to the roof. So you can see the roof going up and all that. It's, it's really cool. We were all on ladders, each of us doing, you know, hitting the bottle jack and making it go. We, we raised the roof an average of two inches across the building. So uh, you can see all the jacks in place. And now we've cut the steel out here and we're prepping the new footings. Arturo is building these footings right now. He's gonna put rebar all in them. Has rebar gotten here yet? Not yet. So the rebar is going in, we'll pour concrete. The concrete's got to set up for a couple weeks and then we can install the new posts. The new posts will go in and then we can get rid of the jacks and maybe start you know, final grading the gravel, getting ready for plumbers to come in and do underground. Very exciting week.
So when we build these new footings, Arturo's gotta lay them out just right. He's made a plumb bob here that finds the center for the post is gonna drop down from the post above it to the footing. So he's made this mark and then he can build his footing, which is a four and a half by four and a half by 12 inch thick concrete slab uh, with a bunch of metal in it. And it'll be perfectly centered over where the new column will go. All right, this is our last day in this room, putting insulation in the ceiling. And by our last day, I mean their last day. Eric and Ryan have been working on this for weeks on end and it looks amazing and it's done. So they're just buttoning up a few things, but the trim pieces are up, it's caulked, and they're gonna come back when they need to paint it and not a day sooner, uh, which is really cool. So the offices are insulated, yay. No, okay. So since our last weekly update, I decided that if we're gonna redo this opening here, we need to do it to the right size for a, a real normal door you can buy at the store. So we pulled all the steel out of here, it was like right here, and we went all the way up with this old, scraggly brick repair that someone had done years and years and years ago. And we're gonna put it back properly. And by we, I mean Arturo is working on this, making it look good and right. And then if we wanna throw a door in here, we can. Otherwise, we'll have the fire door that'll hang right here. It'll function, but we're probably gonna just secure it against the wall right here. So actually, here's the fire door right here. This door is gonna go uh, on the wall. And those are the, tr the wheels and it runs on the track, so. Super cool. So really cool. This week, the first windows got put back in their hole. So the jams have been done, the sashes have been done, the glazing has been done. They're not done done, but they look like they're kind of done. And that's really cool. Like it's exciting to see the first of 73 windows get put back in its spot. So uh, I want you to just kind of zoom in and soak up this new window, new to us old window. We were lifting the floor this week, right? And we're lifting and all of us are downstairs hitting the pump, lifting the root or the whole building, thinking nothing of it. And lucky for me, the engineer came in and he's like, hey, you know, uh, this corner here is kind of bolted down and it can't move. So you need to do something about that. So we had to run up here. Uh, thankfully, he caught it. We ran up here. We put another jack here and we unbolted that uh, pillar. This pillar was put in in the early 1900s when they did the addition onto the building. And it was being held in, hang on. It was mounted with these stellar, crazy, high, like giant lag screws. So, I mean, look at those monsters. That's an inch and a half socket. That's what you need to turn that, an inch and a half socket. It's crazy. Only a 12 point socket will work for that. Anyway, we took those off, we put the jack in and we were able to continue lifting the floor. So that technically it took us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jacks to raise the building. Eight jacks ranging from 20 to 50 tons per jack. Pretty crazy. And that's it, that's raising the floor. <laughs> Last thing about this week, it's not very significant, but it is significant. We got Jake working out here more often now. He's our head distiller, so it's kind of out of place, but we're a small team that wears a lot of hats. So Jake's out here. He's in, what, two days, become a master bobcatter. You're a master bobcatter. Amateur bobcatter, yeah. <laughs> Amateur bobcatter, master distiller. Yeah. <laughs> yep, there you go. So he's been out here since it hasn't rained awesome. in a week. He's cleaning up the job site and he's doing some grading, moving some ancient timbers around, sorting stuff, just doing Jake shit, ah! you know. So that's cool. That's, that's pretty much, he's wrapping up our week out here at the mill. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Uh, subscribe to this channel, uh, comment down in the comment part of this YouTube channel. Tell us what you want to see. Only nice comments though. Yeah, only nice comments. You get out of here, you stupid trolls. Anyway, thank you so much for watching our video. Don't be dumb, drink Carolina rum. Cheers, thank you.